everyone this is dynamic fx bringing you today's weekly market analysis uh, before i proceed don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, the notification bell so that you get notified every time i post a new video i believe and i hope that we have been keeping safe we've been staying at home uh, i pray that the lord will strengthen us and will protect us from this pandemic okay just uh i said let me do a quick video on some insight i i, I got uh for the week ahead especially looking at euro i'm seeing some significant positioning uh from the uh, non-commercial players all right and which seem to be making euro gear up for some significant move okay looking at the fundamentals um the, the last week we had a lot of uh, earnings uh, report and it this is expected to still continue during the week uh, as um microsoft apple amazon and facebook uh, will be reporting their uh, first quarter results and okay so uh, for, for for this week so then a lot of numbers will also be coming up for um for the euro okay we'll be seeing some numbers around business confidence uh uh ap for april okay the business confidence numbers on um, some numbers on um, gdp numbers to be coming out in spain um okay of course given the pandemic the general outlook will definitely be a slow down in growth numbers all right so that may not be surprising unless there will be something else that will be done um that will be that will serve as a catalyst okay for euro okay so those are some of the uh the, what it, the auto looks like although uh, even as you can see from the numbers here the expectation in terms of it's going to be negative for most of the uh eurozone countries but the, the countries in, in eurozone okay so the numbers may be expected to be negative so the market expects negative gdp numbers okay um us to uh, personal spending month on month supposed to drop is expected to drop by six percent from the previous month of 0.2 percent okay so personal income month on month also expected to drop by one percent for the month of march obviously that's because of the restrictions um so i wouldn't expect too much of retail spending uh, okay a uh, lot of job loss okay that also may have contributed to that expectation all right um of course yes maybe china manufacturing uh, pmi numbers also maybe will provide what well, the forecast is expected to actually decline um we'll be looking at okay that'll be next month also by uh, next month uh, for the australian dollar in interest rate dis decision okay still expected to remain flat so those are some of the fundamental activities uh, that we expect for the week so with particular emphasis on euro um okay something else that i noticed that may be positive for euro i've noticed this the foreign exchange reserve okay has been increasing steadily okay so that's encouraging so seeing this very good increase all right in foreign reserves for uh, euro so uh and that quickly uh drew my attention to find out what the big guys will be doing um first maybe if we look at uh price against the net position of um the non-commercial traders okay there's some sort of divergence right now that is um, that is very interesting to look at so um, looking at this chart okay uh, to those of us that are not uh, familiar with the cot report i did a video on introduction to cot uh, analysis okay it's, and it is the institutional trading strategy i will leave a link to the video below all right um cot just simply stands for commitment of traders report okay is a report that is issued by the uh, commodities futures trading commission every friday so what we've done is uh, to 
uh, find another way to analyze the data all right uh, there are various platforms where you can have access to uh, that data but we decided to present it this way to help our analysis so um, in this particular um, data or Instagrams here represent the net position of um, non-commercial traders all right so you can see the um, if anything above this uh, zero line will definitely rep means that it's positive okay so that means they are net long anything below the the zero line means that they are net short all right so then the black line here as you can see uh, it represents the, uh, the the spot price all right for euro usd so the actual price for euro usd okay on a weekly basis so if you can see uh, just something similar to what we're seeing on our chart of course uh, the price has been declining okay and so but the strange thing is what we have here okay the, a lot of huge position built in fact uh, that has been piling up long positions okay that has been piling up but price is still down here we had a similar of course if you look at uh, the correlation you can see that anytime the net position uh, is positive you can see that price usually rallies but we've not seen that happen here so um, it's it's interesting to try to wonder what is actually what the hedge funds are looking at uh, buying the euro uh, it could also be because of the stimulus program it could be something that is uh, uh, maybe they're expecting the market to rally I've also started hearing talks that some of the uh, countries uh, within the eurozone are already planning on opening the, up the economy gradually so maybe that's this positioning may be in anticipation of that so uh, if we come to, um, the certain things you could also look at uh, if we take this back let's go to uh, something else I saw that was very interesting to look at if you look at the analysis here let's see yes for the euro good let me match this so what we can see here also is yes we've had um, uh, price the the non-commercial players are already net long okay they are above this um, zero line here okay so meaning that they're more long position just to buttress what i've been saying uh, so but interestingly you can see uh, in terms of your slater here that the non reportables which are the retail traders are below this um, um, positive line here so they are they are bearish okay they've been reducing their their long positions uh obviously meanwhile the uh, the the smart money is very bullish on the euro okay so it will be very it will be interesting to see how that plays out um okay but even though it looks as if open interest is low um it may be low volume so like we may need a lot of um some maybe good news or some sort of catalyst that would make price uh, uh, rally significantly so the interesting thing is this positioning as you can see how they've taken the position in favor of the euro okay um, so uh, so here you can also see that uh, uh, this blue line represents the long positions this um, whether indigo or uh, velvet I, I don't know what color this is i'm sorry all right is below uh, the long positions all right so we have more long positions in favor of the euro so what you can also see here is the retail traders are dropping their long positions so they're closing long positions uh, significantly all right so like i said when you see anytime you see a setup like this that always provides that incentive for price manipulation and uh, uh, for the big guys to move against the retail traders okay another insight would definitely be uh, when we compare their uh, their positions against moving averages uh, if you look at weekly uh, look at the 13 13 weeks moving average the 56 weeks moving average and 156 weeks moving average you would see that significantly uh, they are well above 
the, the, the those averages all right um so we are looking at trend table here so the, we're looking at the non-commercials here okay we're looking at non-commercials here and that's this table here so um the orange line is for the um 156 weeks the velvet or indigo um it's that's the one for the 52 weeks why okay no that's the one for 13 weeks why this one here represents um uh, the, the uh, for uh 13 weeks uh sorry that's for 52 weeks why am i mixing that up so all right so um the current um positioning as you can see here is well above the moving averages and we are seeing that crossing here showing significant shift in uh, sentiment for euro okay so it will be very interesting to see how that plays out if you look at the numbers this this represents the net positions all right uh, that's the, the the balance between the longs and the shorts all right uh positive means uh, the, the longs are more than the shorts and the negative means the shorts are more than the long all right you should just watch my previous uh, video on that so if you see that we that this has been on the increase okay so it's been on the increase since uh, since March 10th okay especially when we had that uh, significant jump from 86 negative 86,000 to, to negative 12,000 you know and uh, since then it's been uh, uh, the position has been stacking up all right um, so the, the, the very in interesting insight so but when we now look at the technical part you can see that we are approaching a uh a monthly level here we're approaching a the previous month's low okay previous month's low here which is a significant level uh this level here okay so uh and um uh what we expect to see in price action we already started seeing price react at this level here okay we started seeing price react at this level here uh and every time we get a touch around this area here price seem to move significantly so it definitely will be an area where the um, the big guys will be getting interested in moving in okay um, so uh, if you look at it from the weekly perspective you can see that um, we usually could get reactions around these levels here okay significant uh, reactions here here okay here also all right uh, so this this uh, this area here is very very significant uh, level around 1.06354 okay so um, it, it, it's really a very interesting level to get involved in I, I think I took a trade on it last week uh friday so i'm holding over the weekend i expect to see a significant rally all things being equal okay uh volume is also coming in around this level so given all that information um well i expect euro to rally uh still has a lot to do with what happens with the dollar anyway let's see uh what happens with the uh, 40 dollar that will also help um uh, maybe what happens to euro okay so that is it from me that is my view uh for the week in terms of euro usd uh we may be gearing up for a significant move uh, what we might i might love to see of course maybe some stop horns below this level uh to just retest this level and see if that level will hold okay uh, before we start heading higher all right um of course given the pandemic um, yeah, the we need to control our expectation trade with small lot sizes um okay just manage your expectation maybe lo use, use lower targets we may not see those big big moves but let's see how volume comes in to play during the week all right uh so that's it from me uh, don't forget to still hit the subscribe button if you have not done so and hit the bell notification so that you get notified every time i post a new video uh i my, my i'll keep praying for you guys uh, but, uh let's also keep praying for one another that we get through this uh, pandemic and we return back to normal 
all right um so be so next time be safe uh proper hygiene wash your hands